surrounded by his private security force. Billionaire industrialist Juan Alvarez was assassinated this afternoon outside his Belgravia home by a single shot fired at long range. Sources inside Scotland Yard suspect it may be the work of a mysterious and elusive assassin whom they have codenamed the Jaguar. According to Interpol, the Sûreté and the FBI Jaguar is suspected in at least a half dozen political assassinations over the previous five years on three different continents. Although at this time, not a single clue exists as to his identity. How was I supposed to know that a go get a tent meant get out of the way? Please sit still. The time I checked my phrase book, that beast had run over my foot. Everywhere we go, I say, learn the language. I do learn the language. Being able to say, I'm a size 10 and charge it does not constitute learning the language. I am not a size 10. I have never been a size 10. Oh, <laughs> uh, what do you say? Uh, he says, his mule is uh, how you say, uh, we plash. How did it happen? You got in the way of a jackass. No, I was following a jackass. How about, uh... George? We need to go over the museum script. Uh, have you read it, Jay? Totally right. George! George! No, no. Yen! I got Yen! George! What? Blowthorpe's coming! Mr. Blowthorpe, the owner of this show. Uncle Bobby! Welcome to Malta, Mr. Blowthorpe. It's a pleasure to see you again, Mr. Blowthorpe. Honored to finally meet you, Mr. Blowthorpe. Hi, Uncle Bobby. Hello, Francois. Trust they're treating you well. Well, actually... I love this kid. He's doing a great job. Indispensable. He's like the son I never had. You have two sons. 
Michael and Louisa will be here any second. Louisa had a little... Accident, my great Aunt Fanny. You saw that mastodon barreling down on top of me. If you'd jumped when I said jump, you wouldn't have been hit. If, if the queen had wheels, she'd be a tractor. All right, George, we'll discuss the budget cuts later. Budget cuts? I need an assistant until I'm out of this cast. About Louisa. Shoot her. What? From the waist up. I have no desire to see that cast on camera. Is he ready to deliver? Did you tell the crew about tripling up on rooms? They're acting as if it's my fault. George, I'm a writer, not an accountant. You've been promoted. Listen, kid, you gotta talk to your uncle. These budget cuts are killing me. I could put in a word. Maybe this weekend when we are skydiving. Mm. Hot coffee. Hot coffee with no salt water. George, the salt's in the water. It's Malta. Uh, excuse me, I'm looking for Louisa Phillips. Blowthorpe's right, you know. We'll just have to watch ourselves. We simply can't go on arguing. Fine with me. So we're agreed, then? No arguing? I couldn't agree more. Besides, I do not start argument. You're suggesting I do? Uh, Miss Phillips, I meet Barrington, your new assistant. Don't lay this at my feet. You mean foot. Well, my foot was your fault. Blowthorpe's right. You are full of antagonism. The word was adolescent, and he was referring to you. Oh, pick on an invalid. Have you no human compassion? Show me a human. I'll have some. See, you did it again. Why are you so argumentative? Me? You are the typhoid Mary of argument. You spread conflict like a disease. They ought to quarantine you every time we cross a border. All right, put your money where your mouth is. Next one to start an argument pays the other one 100 bucks. Make it 200. Make it five. A week's pay. You're on, pal. You won't last five minutes. How's that? I said we're on in five minutes. I'll be ready. How's that? It's fine. Sorry, uh, who are you? Eve Barrington, Miss Phillips, your personal assistant. <laughs> I can't tell you what an honor it is to have this opportunity to serve you. I can't tell you what a pleasure it is to be served. Oh, I've admired you for so long, well, ever since... Please I... don't say ever since you were a little girl. Oh, gosh, no. You're not that much older than I am. <laughs> we're gonna get along just fine. Louisa, we're ready for you. Mm. Now, what I meant was, ever since that wonderful segment in Acapulco, where you dived off that cliff into the pool of guacamole... Yeah, Michael said he lost all respect for me after that. Don't believe him. He lost all respect for me long before that. Oh, but that was so funny. So irreverent. So daring. So you. Lindstrom, the diplomat, staying at the hotel. Oh, oh, what a day. I need some coffee. I'll get, I'll get it. it. I'll get it for you. Great, I take a black. Black two sugars. I know, I read it in an interview you did for Paris Match. I read all your interviews. The kids well read. Oh, that's nothing. I've got every show you've ever done on tape. Scotch or video? I knew it. All those funny things you say in the show are yours. Sorry, sir.
Sorry I'm late. I was detained at customs. Trouble? No. I don't understand. I put the rifle in there myself. That rifle was specifically designed for this job. Oh, my God. The woman. What woman? In the lobby. She also had crutches. We fell. She must have picked up the wrong ones. This woman, what did she look like? Red hair. Attractive. She had a cast on her leg. Someone called her Miss Phillips. She must be staying in the hotel. I could go and get them. It's OK. I'll take care of it. I'm terribly sorry. That's quite all right. Well, perhaps I ought to be going. My plane leaves in an hour. Enjoy your flight. Rewrite the entire script. What, all now, here, no, here on page one, it's virtually the same. You know, I think I dated him. <laughs> How it is, man. Through the new pages, make sure Louisa reads them as written for a change. Listen, George, I forgot to send that telegram. Forget it, Eve did it. Eve? Efficient, isn't she? Here's your script. There have been some changes. I've marked them in red so as you can't miss them. Coffee? Thanks. <sighs> Whose idea was this place? Mr. Trent's. Another history lesson. Charming idea. Thank you. I thought you'd like it. Now, here, where is the second? How is the foot? foot? Oh. Not too excruciating? Fine. Just fine. But thank you for asking. Not at all. And I do apologize. I should have pulled you to safety. You tried. Alas, not quickly enough. Mm -hmm. It's got the reflexes of a dead cat. Excuse me? I said we have to expect that. Expect what? That accidents do happen. That's when we remember how important good health is. I quite agree. Your health is most important. Forget that she's ruining mine. How's that? I said as long as you're feeling fine. Fine, just fine. But thank you for asking. Not at all. OK, people, let's shoot something today. Did you write the Philharmonic segment? Yes, I did. It's a wonderful script. I read it last night. I couldn't put it down. It's so informative and so cleverly written. I thank you. But I expect people tell you that all the time. Well, actually, no. Action! It's good, no? Okay, five bucks to anybody who can identify the mystery meat. Well, I did the best I could. The budget cuts. Excuse me for interrupting. Uh, Miss Phillips, I took your dresses to be altered, and I'm going to pick them up later today. Now, here are your revised scripts and the call times. Um, the security badge for the Philharmonic Hall will be ready tomorrow. Now, the man at the shoe repair... Have you eaten? Spare yourself, say yes. <laughs> oh, no, I'm fine. I'll just grab a sandwich later. I've got much too much to do. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. I, I just felt a bit woozy. Oh, sit down. This poor girl has been worked to exhaustion. Here, drink this. You must eat something. She can have mine. No, please, just a coffee would be fine. Don't be ridiculous. We'll take you to a real restaurant. Won't let you skip lunch. Neither will I. I'm just the luckiest girl alive to have found you all. I know you'll think me silly. But last night, I dreamt you were all the family I never had. She's an orphan. It gets better and better. Uh, tell me, Eve, what brought you to Malta? Oh, you don't want to hear my story. It's so dull compared with your lives. Well, of course we do. We want to know all about you, Eve. I know I do. Well, I'm from a small village in the Cotswolds. After my parents died, a distant cousin took me in and brought me up until she died about three years ago. I was so alone until I met Eddie. He was in England on leave. It was love at first sight. Eddie was stationed at the American Army base in Wertheim, West Germany. Then his leave was up. We were apart for almost two years, writing letters, phone calls. Finally, Eddie sent me a plane ticket. 
We were going to be married in Italy. It was all so romantic. Then, the morning I arrived at the base, there was a freak accident. Eddie'd been killed. So, I didn't want to go home. I had to get away. <laughs> away from people and away from the world, so... Oh, I'm, so I'm sorry, I'll... I'd better go. Uh, I'll bring those dresses to your room later, Miss Phillips, all right? Talk about your hard luck stories. More like your amazing stories. Oh, come on. Nobody would make up something that pathetic, not even me. There's something about her I don't trust. Oh, come on. She's just a sweet kid who had some tough breaks. You know what that's like. Not that I was ever sweet. <laughs> I have a note for uh, Miss Louisa Phillips. Miss Phillips? Yes, thank you. Like the dress? Oh, I'm so sorry. It's so pretty. I was just looking. Have it. It's yours. Oh, I couldn't. Sure you could. Besides, gives me an excuse to do more shopping. Well, thank you. It's the most beautiful dress. I never dreamt I'd own anything so lovely. Mm. You must be exhausted. You really should get some rest. I can't. I have a rehearsal at the Philharmonic in two hours. Oh, but you've been working so hard and with your foot and all. Look, I'll have all your things waiting for you over at the theatre. I'll leave a wake-up call with the concierge and I'll have a cab standing by ready to take you over. Oh, I'd mm. kill for a nap. Mm. Thank you, Eve. My pleasure, Miss Phillips. No, Louisa. My pleasure, Louisa. Mm. Get the crew ready. Who's all set? Here's the revised script. See the script changes. Make sure wardrobe is delivered. Wardrobe's here. I've got the shooting permits. Give me the shooting permits and don't spend too much Didn't on bribes. Didn't even have to bribe anyone. Do they have to make that racket? George, that's Beethoven. No wonder he went deaf. Michael and Louise are ready? Michael, is Louise is not here yet. Where is she? Eve's calling the room. Where's Louisa? I've been ringing her room over and over again. There's still no answer.
She doesn't answer. Great. One broken foot, and she thinks she can miss rehearsal. What's the problem? We can't find Louisa. What's the problem? We only have an hour to rehearse. When I left her, she was going to take a nap. I could run across town and get her. No time for that. We need someone to stand in right... Wait a minute. Uh-oh, he's having an idea. How about Eve? Me? Well, she knows the script, and I could coach her. Uh, George, I don't think this That's is That's a, a wonderful idea. Because any rehearsal, after her accident, Louisa needs the rest. Oh, I couldn't. But she will. But if you really want me to... Great, let's go. Move it! All right, let's find a quiet corner and go through the time. Uh, this line has been changed. What? desk? This is Louisa Phillips in room 222. Uh, what time is it? AM or PM? Holy smokes, I must have slept through the wake-up call. Listen, can you have a taxi downstairs for me in five minutes? Uh, may I make that three? Listen, it's me again. Could you send me up a pair of crutches? Crutches. Yeah, put a rush on it. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. Sorry, I'm late. <laughs> George. You're not going to believe what happened. I was on my way to rehearsal and there was this horrible accident. A coffee truck coming in one direction, milk truck going in the other direction. They get stuck on the railroad tracks. Steam engine comes barreling down on top of them and wham! Cappuccino, as far as the eye can see, I can see it was all. <laughs> Spare awful. yourself, Louisa, please. Rehearsal went great. He played your part. And there are no railroads in Malta. Oh. Okay, George, here it is. I overslept. I couldn't find my crutches. By the time I got to the theater, everyone was gone. I'm really sorry. I blew it. Yeah. I was awful. Oh, she was. I'm so sorry, Louisa. I called and called, but you must have been in such a deep sleep. And I wanted to come and wake you myself, but Mr. Shipman... Oh, forget it, kid. I wouldn't have missed the dream I had for anything. Besides... She must go on, right? <laughs> Michael. Ah, oh, Louisa. How is the nap? Did you rest in peace? Michael, I really must apologize. Why? What have you done? Lately. I missed rehearsal. Oh, the... It's inexcusable. After all, I've never missed rehearsal. And I have. Cairo? Who left me stuck in the desert without a camel? I suppose it was my fault. Yes, I suppose that was my fault. Did I ever apologize? No, I don't believe you ever did. Well, I apologize. <sighs> Accepted. Still, I can imagine it must have been upsetting, rehearsing with someone who didn't know our lines. Never bothered me before. How's that? I said I couldn't agree more. Uh -huh. So Eve was terrible. No, on the contrary, Eve was marvelous. Poised, graceful, and natural in front of the camera. She even knew all her lines and stuck to the script word for word. Miles said it was like hearing his words for the first time. Did he? You're not upset, are you? <laughs> what, upset? Why would I be upset?
lower, lower, lower. No, higher. Oh, right there. Oh, God, that feels good. Oh, oh, that's great. I can't stand it anymore. It's like an army of ants with a thousand little tickle feathers. Thanks, Marie, that's fine. Did you get a hold of that American doctor? I talked to his office earlier. They can give you one of those removable casts, but the only time they have open is this afternoon. Do you want me to drive you? Oh, no. Just rent me a car. That'll be fine. I'll drive her. Have Eve do it. I'll do it. You've been down on Eve ever since she got here. What's the matter, Fred? She's after your job? It's not my job she's after. What a lovely scarf. Save it, kid. I can't do you any good. Louisa, I really must apologize about the rehearsal. I know I should have come back, even though Mr. Shipman oh, didn't... forget it, kid. You tried to call, right? Of course. Can you make sure the gown gets to the theater tonight? Aren't you going over this afternoon? Oh, I have to drive over to Paola. Friday's renting me a car. Ugh. Damn crutches. I should know what happened to mine. Well... What? No, perhaps I shouldn't say. No, perhaps you should. Out with it. Well, I was in Mr. Trent's room delivering his script and I happened to notice a pair of crutches there. I've come to the right place. Oh, would you look at the dust on that bureau? Could write your name in it. And this closet. Looks like London after the Blitz. Just like when we were married, always cleaning up after uh, you. The maid cleaned up. I don't remember you ever. Your things are everywhere. Your shirts, your shoes, your socks, your crutches. My what? Oh. Oh. But these aren't your crutches, Michael. These are my missing crutches. But what would my missing crutches be doing in your closet? Are you insinuating I stole them? I was wondering. You were alleging. I was pondering. You were accusing. I was querying. You were interrogating. I was inquiring. As in inquisition? As in asking. Then ask. I'm asking. And I'm answering. I haven't the slightest idea how your crutches got into my wardrobe. Satisfied? Or would you prefer to argue the point? I was not arguing. You were. I was not, and I don't want to. Do you? Of course not. Neither do I. If you'll excuse me, I have to get dressed for an appointment. Need the car out front because the woman is on crutches, understand? Crutches? Anything I can do? No, thanks. Hello, Friday. If I've done something to offend you, I am deeply sorry. I do hope that we can be friends. And if there's anything I can do to help... Look, I can't talk to you right now. I'm waiting for these rental people to deliver Louise's car out front, and I just can't talk to you. Why don't I go and pick it up? It's okay, I've got it under control. Hello? I'm sure you have more important things to do. Please let me help. Okay. Yeah. No. Thanks anyway. I'll send someone to pick it up. I'm sure Mr. Trent had a perfectly good reason. He did, but it didn't work. 
Now, I've put the directions to the doctor's surgery inside. Here's a map. Uh, oh, and I've filled it up with petrol, so you needn't worry. Oh, you think of everything, don't you, Eve? I try. Friday, this research is important. I have to get to Hamron this afternoon. I told Miles to rent a car. Well, Miles never told me. Besides, there's not room in the budget for two cars. Well, what about that one? There's not room in this car for two people. Here, Francois, give these security badges out to the crew. Make sure everyone wears one tonight. That Guy Lindstrom and his wife are guests of honor at the concert. What do we need these for? Well, I guess not everyone is pro peace. There have already been a couple of attempts to assassinate him. But now that I've found my crutches and I can get my cast. Louise, the doctor should be coming to see you. I'm the next town over from Paola. You're going in the same direction. Why don't you just share it? Share, share it. it. We're lost. I told you to take a ride. It was left. And we're not lost. And where are we? Check the map. It's in Maltese. Still want me to check the map? How could you not check the petrol? You were driving. Well, you got the car. Eve said the tank was full. Eve. Eve did this. Oh, blame it on me, blame it on Eve. It's anyone's fault but your own. I probably thought you were an escaped convict. We shoot in less than an hour. Michael, why do we argue? Why is the sky blue? We never argued when we met. We hardly knew each other. We never argued when we were going out. We were getting to know each other. So what happened? We got to know each other. Allow me. Thanks. Listen, we have to be at the Manuel Theater about five minutes ago. Can you give us a ride? She didn't go to the doctor. She did go to the doctor, but she never got there. Then where is she? I don't know. Where's Michael? Same place. Excuse me, but, you know, they have doctors who can deal with this kind of sexual confusion. There was a kid in my neighborhood in Queens, Mickey Lavaghetto. He used to walk up and down the block every morning at 5.15, dressed like Ethel Merman and singing Everything's Coming Up Roses. Sort of like the neighborhood rooster. Well, long story short, I heard he got into a clinic, and now he's got a wife and nine kids and a job at the post office. I bet if I called... Hey, hold it. You know what I've been through with those crutches? How much did she pay you? How should who pay you? Eve. Louisa, Eve has nothing to do with this. Oh, you mean little Miss... Uh, Miss Phillips, I filled the tank with petrol, so you don't have to bother. She wants me out of the way so she can take over the show. Why is it you assume the rest of the world is as devious as you? 
Oh, fine. She's innocent. And you explain why we've been tied up by a transvestite trombonist. Find him? They vanished. Not a trace. Disparu. Great. Half hour to showtime, no hosts. Who's gonna go on? I could possibly. We need someone who knows a script. I wrote it. I think I could. Someone who looks good on camera. Well, I'd be willing to. Someone with a chin. Who could just jump in. Wait a minute. Oh, no. Eve. George. She was great in rehearsal. She can do it. Get it. George, don't do this. You're playing right into her hands. I don't know what she did, but I'm sure it's her fault that Michael and Louisa aren't here. We're shooting in 30 minutes. Get her. get away with this. Why not? Oh, tell him why not, Michael. You won't get away with this. Why not? Where are Michael and Louisa? Seems they haven't turned up. Very unprofessional, don't you think? What did you do? What makes you think I've done something? Look, drop the good ship lollipop routine, okay? I've been on to you from the start. Fiance. Training accident. I checked it out. There is no army base in Wertheim. It's in Mannheim. Gee, then I guess Eddie's okay. You're not going on. <laughs> then who will? Miles? Francois? You? Face it, Friday. It's me or no one. And once the audience gets a taste of Eve Barrington, they'll forget Louisa Phillips ever existed. <laughs> Listen, Eve, I know Louisa Phillips. I've worked with Louisa Phillips. I admire Louisa Phillips. Trust me, you're no Louisa Phillips. Well, I suppose we'll soon see, won't we? And Michael? Do you think he's gonna just stand by and let you take over Louisa's job? Oh, I don't think I'll have much trouble winning over Michael. Do you? Why are you doing this? If you have the talent, you'll make it on your own. What's talent got to do with it? Five years of casting calls trying to break into this business, bashing your head against a brick wall. Finally, I said to myself, Eve, you've got to make your own breaks. And that's just what I'm doing. Well, you're not going to do it on this show. Not if I have anything to say about it. I'm not going to let you... Your fault. My fault. Well, at least we agree on something. We agree on nothing. You're being very disagreeable, as in debating, disputing, arguing. I was not arguing. Yes, you were. Yes, you were. You heard him right. Am I right? I'm afraid I must be leaving now. Wait a minute. You can't leave till you settle this. You can't leave us here. We'll starve. I hardly think there'd be time for that. Questions. Are we ready? There is just one thing. Mm -hmm. This line here has always bothered me. Come on. 
Can you get loose? If I could, do you think I'd be sitting here chatting? Uh-oh, you did it again. I win. Well, you forget about the bloody bet. We're about to be blown into little pieces. You haven't won anything. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. No, you haven't. Anyway, what's the difference? I haven't got my wallet. I'll do something. What? Write you a check? to the Manowell Theatre. Could you give us a ride? Sure. Come on, get in. Welcome to Ticket to Ride. I'm Eve Barrington.
stuff. It's great. Hi. Welcome to Ticket to Ride. I'm Louisa Phillips. And I'm Mark Trent. Journey with us in upcoming shows. As we visit the Taj Mahal. India's monument to gospel great Mahalia Jackson. Pamplona for the running of the bulls. Leave your good shoes at home. And England as we investigate the fascinating ruins at Stonehenge. What's so fascinating about a bunch of old boulders? But now, join us as we explore the mystery that is Malta. Home of the ancient religious order of the Knights of St. John. Who set sail from Europe with the Knights of Columbus, the Padres of San Diego, and the Cardinals of St. Louis. And that's how baseball was born.